It says something when the first and largest thing you want to rave about after a movie is the production design. In the case of Public Enemies, Michael Mann's disappointing look at the end of legendary bank robber John Dillinger's life, it means that the movie itself doesn't have nearly the detail of its scenery. Johnny Depp and Marion Cotillard are solid as Dillinger and his girlfriend Billy Frechette, even though their relationship never seems to deepen between the time he picks her up and when they're supposedly in love. John Dillinger, Rob Banks. That's where all these people here put their money. Why'd you tell me that? You could have made up a story. I'm not gonna lie to you. That's a serious thing to say to a girl you just met. I know you. Well, I don't know you. The film is pretty vague on a lot of things, actually, including the reasons FBI agent Melvin Purvis, played by Christian Bale, requests that Bureau of Investigation Director J. Edgar Hoover, played by Billy Crudup, replace his clean-cut professionals with more qualified men from the South. We know it's the Depression, but we don't feel it on the community, nor do we see Dillinger's popularity among unhappy citizens. The movie often tells things it doesn't show. Public Enemies looks great, but it will leave you cold. The bonus is Dillinger living by the rule of never working with people who are desperate. There's definitely an American Idol joke in there somewhere, but I'll leave that one to you. For Metromix.com, I'm Matt Pace.